Hi everyone, my name is McKenna Rogan and I'm an Associate Director of Admissions at Lake Forest College. I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about Lake Forest generally, but we're going to be focusing on uh, the pre-professional tracks at a small liberal arts college. So we'll get into what all that means in just a second. Uh, so again, I work for Lake Forest College, which is a small liberal arts institution. We have about 1600 students total uh, and we're located just north of Chicago. So if you've been to the state before, uh, you may know that Chicago is one of the largest cities in the United States. States and we're located just about 30 miles north of downtown Chicago. So in, we're in sort of a suburban smaller town area uh, with really easy access to the city which we'll talk quite a bit about today. Um, so I want to start by talking about the liberal arts in general and uh, what the benefits of attending a liberal arts college might be for a student. So uh, liberal arts can be defined in a number of different ways. For Lake Forest, it essentially means that we are preparing you to think and read and write critically so that you can use those skills regardless of the career that you choose after graduation. Um, so you'll certainly still be focusing in a specific area this could be business, it could be music, it could be history, um, but then you will also get a wide breadth and depth of knowledge in, in quite a few different subject areas throughout your time in college and hopefully be gaining skills that will help you regardless of what you decide to do after graduation in that major uh, or intended career field or not. So the example I often use is computer science. Uh, we have a computer science major. It's a very popular choice for students. Uh, it certainly, hopefully, prepares students for the field of computer science after graduation. But if we were so naive to think that uh, we know everything we need to know about computer science at this point, I think that would be incorrect. So um, our major in computer science will teach students some of the skills that they'll need to immediately enter the workforce, but it will also teach them to think critically so that they can kind of invent what can computer science will be in five or 10 or 50 years. Um, so we're thinking ahead, essentially. Uh, at a small liberal arts college, you may be considering a really practical kind of pre-professional field. So I'm thinking things like pre-health or pre-law, maybe a major in business or finance. Um, these are things that are sometimes hard to find at small liberal arts colleges. They're becoming increasingly popular, but um, rather than things like English or history or mathematics, which almost always exist at a liberal arts school, um, what if you want to study something like health, public health or business or finance? Um, so we're going to talk a little bit today about how liberal arts and those pre-professional programs can be a really good match. Um, at Lake Forest specifically, when we're talking about pragmatic liberal arts, so that really practical approach to the liberal arts that we hold dear at Lake Forest, um, I think the computer science example is a good one to think about that critical reading and writing, those critical reading and writing skills that will help you later on in life. And this is true across the board in any fields or any major that we offer at the college. Um, you will certainly find that small classroom experience. So our average class size is about 19 students. The professor uh, or student to faculty ratio is 12 to 1. So you will definitely be in a small classroom environment where you'll have lots of attention from your professors and you'll be able to dialogue with them and with your peers throughout your, your time at Lake Forest. Um, and there's also a really practical approach in any class that we offer. So we actually have an experiential learning requirement for students by the time they graduate. You need to participate in research, you need to study abroad, or you need to do an internship. Um, many students will do two or three of those things, um, or will do multiple of any of those things. So it's certainly something our students take to heart. Um, and you'll have a, quite a hands-on experience in any of your coursework at Lake Forest, even if it's not doing outside research or an internship. Um, there's incredible flexibility in the curriculum, which means that you can really tailor your educational experience to what you're looking for. Um, and all of our courses are interdisciplinary. So I like to highlight this because in addition to maybe taking classes in several different subject areas, even within one particular course, you're going to be pulling materials from lots of different subject areas to get that kind of interdisciplinary approach to the subject that you're studying. So neuroscience is a good example of this. If you're in a neuroscience class, you know, it's in the neuroscience department, but you may be pulling materials from philosophy, psychology, biology, and using all of those to have a better understanding of the neuroscience coursework you're doing. So that's really true in all of our, our classes at Lake Forest. 
Um, I also like to highlight the self-designed major. This is a, an offering that many schools have, but I think it's really well utilized at, at Lake Forest. Um, if you are not 100% sure what you want to do when you come into the college, that's perfectly fine. Um, but as you're looking through the options, if you're realizing, you know, you have a really specific interest in this particular field, and it's not a major that we precisely offer yet, you can cr basically create your own major. So um, we call this our self-designed major. You'll work with an advisor to come up with the course list for this new major that you're creating. You'll even come up with the title yourself. And then once that's approved, you will be, you know, the first person to have that major at Lake Forest. Um, and it'll be really tailored to your interests and your specific needs. Um, so that's another option for you in terms of that pragmatic liberal arts approach. So once you are, you know, you have a good grasp on what's happening in the classroom, you're probably thinking about career preparation. So what are you going to be doing after you graduate or even before you graduate in terms of internships and kind of career prep. So uh, the Career Advancement Center at Lake Forest is truly incredible. This is a hallmark of our um, institution and it help students in a variety of different ways before graduation to be prepared for whatever life, whatever, wherever life may take them after graduation. Um, the Career Advancement Center has staff members who are solely dedicated to helping students with their career prep. So in addition to your academic advisor, you'll also have a career advisor in the CAC and they will help you to find internship opportunities to prepare yourself for job interviews, et cetera. So um, there are a number of different pathways at Lake Forest. So like I said, you'll have a career advisor and they'll be uh, specific to one or, met or multiple of these pathways. Um, for example, if you're interested in science and healthcare, that's one of our pathways. And there will be a career advisor assigned to you who's an expert in that particular field. So not only are they a career advisor, but they're specifically a science and healthcare career advisor, and they can help you to narrow down um, your passions and deciding what you want to do. They can also help you to find opportunities to get there. So that is a really unique offering of Lake Forest to have that kind of advisor from day one when you step foot on campus. Um, and I think one of the biggest benefits of being at a place like Lake Forest is being so close to Chicago, which we'll talk about in just a second. But the availability of internship opportunities, research opportunities in the city is pretty endless. Uh, speaking of research, I actually did want to touch on one uh, specific offering that we have right on campus at Lake Forest. It's called our Richter Scholars Program. This is a one-on-one -on -one research opportunity. So you and one professor, um, you'll work together to develop a research proposal, carry out your research, and many students are even published by the end of their Richter Scholars experience. Um, this is a summer program. It's usually a 10-week program in the summer, um, and it's specifically designed for students who are rising sophomores. So between your first and second year at the college, you could already be doing research with your professors one-on-one. -on -one. Um, this is a really unique opportunity. I think especially in a small liberal arts environment, you get that kind of close um, relationship with your professors and you're able to do this kind of work really early in your college career, which is not always the case, um, especially if there are a great number of graduate students um, on a particular campus or if there's just a larger student body, um, they may just not have the resources to um, um, give every student this kind of one-on-one -on -one opportunity. So that's a real benefit of being in such a small environment. Uh, now, I mentioned before Chicago. So in, in addition to the research opportunities on campus or in the surrounding Lake Forest area or really anywhere between Lake Forest and Chicago, the city is right in your backyard. So this is probably your biggest pool of resources for opportunities outside of the classroom. Um, in addition to research and a great number of internship opportunities, uh, we also have something called the LOOP program. So this is particularly of interest um, if you're interested in staying in Chicago after graduation perchance. Many of our students will do an internship as part of the LOOP program and then we'll continue that um, as a full-time position after graduation as well. So what is the LOOP program? This is essentially a study abroad program, but in Chicago, so a study away program, a domestic one. Um, and our students who are participating in this program will live downtown in a residence hall um, that we maintain downtown in Chicago. And you typically will take two classes during this program. It's a semester long program. You actually can do it for up to a year, but generally for a semester, um, you'll be taking two classes either with Lake Forest professors who actually come to downtown Chicago and teach in that same building where you uh, are living and, and working. 
Um, or you have the opportunity to take classes at any of our partner institutions. So this includes places like Roosevelt University, Columbia College, the School of the Art Institute, etc. Um, so these are really, really fantastic institutions right in our backyard as well, all in the Chicago, um, in Chicago proper actually. So that is a great opportunity if you're really interested in diving into some classes at any of those institutions, especially things that we don't even offer at Lake Forest. Um, and then in addition to those that that coursework you'll be doing typically 20 to 25 hours of an internship every semester so um, that is an internship that you will work to to find with your career advisor and they'll assist you with that process and then um, like i said many students will continue that work after graduation which is really exciting uh, so that's a specific program that we offer in chicago but this is a city that we utilize really really well throughout all of our coursework at lake forest so typically in a typical year we'll send students on class trips to chicago about 200 times in a given year and um, that's just in your normal academic coursework at lake forest let alone any you know weekend fun or um, campus-wide programming that we plan in the city so our professors in every single discipline, every single field are using the city, whether to go to a museum or to see a guest speaker or a performance. Um, professors are really pretty savvy at finding opportunities in the city and, and using that in their normal coursework. Um, the last thing I want to mention about Chicago is the alumni network. So we have alumni all over the world, um, but if you're interested in staying in the area, we have about 4,000 active 4,000 active alumni uh, in the Chicagoland area. So that's definitely a resource that you can tap into. It will certainly help with the internship and job search if you're interested, um, but it's also just great to have such a, a robust support network right in your backyard. If you need anything, the Lake Forest College community really extends long after graduation. So um, alumni from Lake Forest are often very, very excited to assist current students, um, whether that's in a networking sense or just in a support sense. Uh, the last thing that I want to talk about is the global nature of Lake Forest. We are, like I said, a relatively small liberal arts college uh, located in the US, of course, but we have an incredibly global student population. About 14% of our students are international students um, and they really are, truly represent nearly the entire globe. So uh, it's, a, it's a widespread in terms of the country students are from, um, and even our domestic students are com coming from nearly every state in the United States. There's a, a wide variety of socioeconomic backgrounds, religious backgrounds, racial and ethnic backgrounds, et cetera. So this is something on a personal note that I was really looking for when I was deciding where I wanted to work. Um, and I think it's probably one of the most important things you can find in a college experience is learning from your peers and your professors who come from a wide variety of backgrounds and experiences. Uh, and I think that can help to really make you a better person, but also to really prepare you to work in a global world after graduation. So that's something that has really um, benefited me in working at Lake Forest. And I hope it's something that you all are looking for as well. Um, I think it's particularly useful if you're looking into those pre-professional fields, you'll be prepared to work in any place around the world and with any number of people from around the world. So that's certainly something that is a big benefit of being in this small, tight-knit community. So I think in conclusion, if you're looking for that small, tight-knit college experience, if you want that one-on-one -on -one attention from professors, you know, a small liberal arts college may be the way to go. Um, and a, a place like Lake Forest may be a good fit if you're looking for those big opportunities in addition to being part of that small uh, community. So whether that is internships in Chicago or research opportunities or the alumni connections that can help to find you work after graduation, um, really that practical focus on, on career is something that I would encourage you to look for if that's uh, a field that you're intending to go into. Happy to answer any other questions that you have at any point. Um, my contact information is on our, our website and I'll be participating in the fair today. So um, please let me know if you need anything else from me and good luck with all of your college search. <laughs>